morning students and welcome to our distance learning class. I am your trainer Parut Deka Gogoi and today I will take your class on basic housekeeping operations unit 1 that is bed and linen. And our key learnings will be on type of bed, parts of a bed, type of bed linen and types of fabric. So let us start. Let us discuss about bed and its importance. Guest rooms are one of the most important product in a hotel. As maximum revenue, that is 60 to 70 percent, can be generated from room sale only. A well organized, beautiful, comfortable, and a safe room is the basic requirement of a guest. On the other hand, Rooms are considered to be the most perishable item. Yes, perishable. Now what is perishable? And why it is perishable? Because if a room is not sold for a day, that sale cannot be earned again, causing huge loss of revenue. That is why room plays an important role in overall hotel operation. Now, when we talk about guest room, the bed is considered to be the primary amenities, which has usability as well as aesthetic appeal. The bed covers the maximum space in a room. Hence, beds should be beautifully made to give maximum comfort to its occupants, that is our guest, and to enhance the beauty of the room. Let us know various parts of a bed. So basically, we have five parts in a bed. Those are number one, headboard, number two, footboard, number three, base spring, number four, mattress, and number five, side frame. Let us discuss about various parts of a bed. So students, in the previous slide, I have already mentioned that there are five parts in a bed. So let us see. Number one, headboard. It is the part towards the head side, which is attached onto the wall. And these are made of upholstered material. And the design should match with rest of the room decoration. Next, that is number two, footboard. It is the part towards the foot side where we do the mitre corner. Number three, bed spring. It is the supporting part of the bed. It is consist of springs or piece of plywood. Number four, mattress. The normal thickness of a mattress is eight inches to twelve inches. Number five, side frames. It is the frame of the bed which is made out of wood or metal. We'll discuss about types of bed with their sizes. We have different types of bed and their sizes are different. So following her few of the types of bed. Number one, single bed. Single bed is basically placed in a single occupancy room and the size of the bed is 39 inches into 75 inches. The second category is queen size bed. These are placed in double occupancy room. Basically, these are placed in a suite room. This is the second largest bed found in a guest room. The size is 60 inches into 80 inches. Next is king size bed. Well, this is the largest size bed available in a hotel. These are placed in suite rooms, double suite rooms, at residential suite rooms. And the size is 76 inches into 80 inches. Roll away bed. This is designed for easy storage and movability with casters. These are available upon request and guests need to pay extra charges per night. For example, Z bed, Morphe bed, etc. Then we have 
baby cot. These are also available on request. Normally, these are free of charges. So students, from the previous slides, you have learned about what is a bed, parts of a bed, types of bed, and different sizes of bed. Now, let us discuss about bed linen. So, what is a linen? Linen is a type of fabric that is sturdy, cool, and absorbent. Linen is sometimes used to make bedding and towels. Linen comes from the old English word linen. All the clothes materials which are used in a hotel together they are termed as linen. Now let us discuss about types of linen. To know linen in detail, we should know the following few facts. Number one, linens are obtained from fabric. Number two, fabrics are obtained from fibers. Fibers are of two types. Number one, natural fibers. And number two, man-made or regenerated fibers. So number one, that is the natural fiber. Under this category, we have again two sub-categories. That is, vegetable fibers and animal fibers. Vegetable fibers are obtained from different types of plants. For example, cotton, linen, jute, ram, ham, and scissor. Animal fibers. These are obtained from animals, for example, silk, wool, leather. Animals like silkworm, sheep, goat, and different types of animals. Then we have man made or regenerated fibers, and the examples are nylon, chiffon polyester and acrylic these are the different types of fabrics from which different linens are obtained and these linens are used as bed linen in a hotel for the bed making in a guest room we need various types of bed linens so following are some of the bed linen which are used to make a bed. Number one, bed skirting. A bed skirt or valance is a piece of decorative fabric to give a stylish look without exposing the sides of the bed. Number two, bed bed. A thick piece of quilted material that is placed on top of the mattress. Number three, bed sheet. These are used to cover the mattress. For example, crinkle sheet, top sheets, etc. Number four, duvet and cover. It is a type of bedding that consists of soft flat bed filled with down, feather, wool, silk or synthetic fibers with a cover. Next we have bed spread. The outer decorating covering of the bed is called bedspread. Next, we have pillowcase protector. It ensures the pillow to remain fresh for long period of time. Basically, it is the pillow protector. Then lastly, we have pillowcase. It is the pillow cover. Always good quality linen materials should be used as pillowcase. We have already discussed about bed and bed linens. Now let us discuss about how to choose the right hotel linen. In hospitality industry, we always believe in first impression is the lasting impression. When walking into a hotel room, the first thing a guest will notice is the crisp white sheets laid on the bed. Choosing the right linen can mean 
the difference between a delightful and restful night or an uncomfortable night experience by a guest. Now we are going to discuss about how to determine quality of bed linen. So following our few of the points that will guide us how to determine the quality of bed linen. Number one, thread count. Number two, tensile strength. Number three, the way fabrics are woven. Now what is a thread count? The thread count is the number of threads that are in a square inch of the material. These sheets with different counts are good for different purposes. Commercial linen should have at least 180 thread count. Then we have tensile strength. Fabric with a higher tensile strength is of higher quality. This can be achieved by comparing the amount of weight it takes to tear a piece of fabric. The way fabrics are woven is the another way to determine quality. Twill fabrics are denser and more durable than plain wave fabrics. Following are the few additional points to be considered while purchasing hotel linen. Hotel linen should be easy to maintain. Linens should be durable. Linens should have maximum wear and tear. It should be comfortable to our skin. In trend. And finally, the budget factor. So students, with this, we are moving towards the end of this class. I hope you have enjoyed and understood all the topics which are covered in today's class. So now I have some task for you all. Kindly make a note of the topics which are covered. Collect some pictures of different types of bed, bed linens and paste them in your journals. And for any query, you can contact me. Thank you and have a wonderful day.